The shape of our cities will determine the shape of our lives. And the shape of our lives will be the shape of our future. We believe a home is a dream for all of us. A home is not a home without people who live in them. Therefore, it all goes back to building spaces around people. To fulfill their needs and aspirations for a smart life. At Ashiana, we believe that homes are built for people to live in and therefore before selecting a project or a location, the first question that we ask is who's going to live here. And uh, with that thought, we had been uh, researching the Gurgaon market uh, for a while and tracking developments over there. We looked at Sona as a market and we saw two things that Sona was uh, less than 15 minute drive to the Sona Road uh, office commercial hub, which was uh, becoming the second largest commercial hub in Gurgaon after Cyber City. It was uh, within a 30 minute driving distance to the golf course road, golf course extension road uh, commercial hub and about a 45 minute driving distance to Cyber City. The second aspect of Sona which was very interesting was even social infrastructure was in place. Uh, when we looked at projects elsewhere in Gurgaon, overall infrastructure was something futuristic. A certain road will be built, uh, it was even difficult to get access with an SUV. Schools were to be built. Here in Sona, the four-lane access road was ready. There were schools uh, of the variety of DPS and Maruti Konj, GD going a world school, uh, Ryan, all within uh, close proximity to the site. It was very livable from an infrastructure perspective right away. And the other aspect uh, that was there, it allowed us to do homes which were affordable to the end user where uh, we could provide a high quality lifestyle to the middle class of Gurgaon. Now let's listen to our architect who has designed and conceived Ashana Anmol as he walks you through the details of the project. My name is Sayyad Imran. I'm an architect, a graduate of the prestigious SEPT University. I have been in practice for over 25 years and we've been working on several projects across the globe. We started working on Anmol Ashana a few months ago and it has been a very satisfying and a fruitful endeavor for us. Ashana had a very special request on this project that it had to be aimed at a very smart basic homes that they produce yet with a very very fresh appeal to it and it was directed at the young um, professionals who are working in this region, uh, especially around Sona and Gurgaon. The site has some very interesting opportunities. Uh, it faces a very wide sector road. It is off the main Sona road, so you get the necessary privacy, and in doing so, we have provided the best of both the worlds, that you have instant access. At the same time, you're off the main road and you're away from the noise and the clutter of the main road. One of the major things that we were talking about was integrating the green. We have tried and achieved to a large extent by a peripheral movement of cars, segregating it at the, right at the entrance so that all cars are captured in the basement. What this has led to is a very interesting situation where you could almost do a one kilometer walk on the surface uh, 
in, within the compound without actually encountering traffic. From the architecture point of view, we wanted to take a very fresh look at it and um, uh, we were, one of the tools that we used was very nice pastel shades of colour to define the form. One of the things that we worked very hard was on the landscape part of it. The landscape is actually a common drawing room for everybody. Uh, it has to be used, it has to be shared, it has to be a part of your own dwelling unit and not as an external feature that is what we find in most housing projects. We wanted every unit to integrate with the landscape, to look into it. At the same time, from the functionality point of view, we wanted as much of the landscape to be available for pedestrian. The entry is designed like a courtyard. From there, you access each tower through a landscape courtyard. And as you access the buildings and your own units, you're constantly taken through a process of increasing privacy in a very, very efficient manner. The club was again a major challenge and here we learned a lot from studying old projects of Ashana. Uh, with Ashana and Mall, we had a very clear brief that the club has to be really a part of the community. It has to belong to everybody and everybody should be encouraged to use it. So it's positioned almost like a crown jewel in the development and the faces the green allows people to use and access the green through it and every space that has been provided has been provided with the thinking that how are they going to use it and how much should they use it because it's really the additional amenity that belongs to everybody and is looked after by everybody. One of the things in the club that we have done is a multi-sports gym which is like I think being done the first time. The whole idea is that they are young families, they will have young children, they need outlets to do this, they shouldn't be traveling out to do it, we should provide it within what is happening. One of the things that we work very hard on and it's a real piece of architectural um, design is uh, one of the schools that we have put in there. It, it's aimed at providing additional learning to the kids within the community. We were very conscious of the fact that there will be a lot of kids. So we designed the space that they can have all the extracurricular activity within the community. It also sort of binds them, brings them closer. I think where Ashana stands out is that it has focused very strongly on the functionality and giving maximum space to the end user. Uh, and in order to achieve that, it has standardized things based on their experience, based on our experience, and uh, the best in the class solution for that particular development has been applied to it. Having done that, what we find is that we have developed an architecture which is still young and fresh. It still stands out from the clutter that exists there. We are still able to provide comfortable spaces, the most efficient spaces, the most, I think, the best in the class uh, super area ratio that exists in that region. The club 
like I mentioned earlier, the architecture, the facade, the design, all of that is aimed at somebody who's very smart and you can see the value in that. It is not to overwhelm you with some iconic architecture which will come at a cost of efficiency and which will you'll realize at a much later stage.